One St. Andrew man is dead following a stabbing incident at Ben Jones Street, Grenville St. Andrew on Sunday. Tyron Bernard, a resident of Telescope St. Andrew, is identified as Grenada's latest homicide victim. The incident leading to Bernard's death happened while the big parish was hosting its carnival launch and the official celebration of Fisherman's Birthday over the weekend. Officer in charge of the Community Relations Department of the RGPF is ASP Simon Douglas. At about 3.30 p.m., Tyrone Bernard, 37 years old laborer of Telescope St. Andrews, received several stab wounds all over his body, uh, particularly his back and left arm. Subsequently, he was taken to Princess Alice Hospital and he was pronounced dead at the hospital. In relation to the Tyrone Bernard matter, one person is presently in custody assisting us with that investigation. The fatality on Sunday was recorded as Grenada's fourth homicide for the year, all recorded in the parish of St. Andrew. ASP Douglas notes the RGPF's concerns with the spate of crime or homicide coming from the Eastern Division. Even, even, even when, we, when we had the second one, it, it became a concern for that division. The fact that our first two uh, homicides took place in that division in addition to the significant number of harm offenses that were reported within that division. So it, it is a concern and the RGPF is looking into it and trying to find ways to try to alleviate the problems that, that lead to those types of incidents. So now we have four, it has become a greater concern for us and the division in particular. In unrelated incidents, ASP Douglas also spoke of two other chopping incidents resulting from altercations in Grenville over the weekend. A separate incident, Kyla James, 20 years old of West, sorry, of Bolio, St. George's, received multiple stab wounds to his upper back. And this took place on Ben Jones Street, St. Andrews. He was also taken to Princess Alice Hospital and is currently a patient there. The third incident, Cody Sampson, 22 years old of Pearls, St. Andrews, received injuries to his forehead and chest. He was also taken to hospital, but was later released. For GBN News, I am Rena Pen